Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. You are watching something about Drea. I am Drea, and today's video, homegirls, we are doing us another affordable wig review so this wig review that i'm doing this is another amazon purchase um from the from the brand outre this is a synthetic unit yes girl synthetic unit lace front wig super duper affordable girl under a hundred dollars so girls if you care to get the tea as well as see the install process and my overall rating of this wig from amazon then girl make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching because i'm only a slate away honey let's get into the video let's get into the unboxing so this is the perfect hairline uh series by outre this is in the style ariel um i got this in the one the color 1b this is just the card this is a 13 by 6 uh, lace front wigs how it come packaged you know with the netting and the stuffing all that um the construction of the unit so you do get one comb on either side as well as a comb in the back y'all look at the lace on this you definitely get a sufficient amount of parting space um you get the elastic band in the back as well as a comb in the back y'all i love the fact that it has this elastic band like security please Okay, girls, so I'm excited about trying this wig. Like, the texture or curl pattern. So, it's giving me a cross between a curl and wave. Just because the curls are so loose. Like, it's giving wave but curl at the same time. So, I'm excited to try this. Like, I'm kind of starting to see why the girls are hype over these synthetic wigs. Because, first of all, straight out of the pack, honey. Like, you could see literally straight through the lace and it's giving me no need for plucking okay no need for the shenanigans i'm gonna spray her down so we can lay her down anyway but it's giving so let's go ahead i'm gonna start by um putting a little makeup on the lace right here and what i'm gonna use for that is normally i use this is what i normally use y'all the even tinted even tinted lace spray okay but uh empty and when i went to my favorite hair store girl they ain't got no more so i think all the girls must have bought it up or whatever but i'm gonna go ahead and use the ruby kisses cream uh cream to powder foundation or in the shade level 13 so this one be putting all over the lace so let's do that all right, so you just want to literally dig into it. Dig into the product, get it on the brush, and we're going to go inside the lace. And I don't have a better way of showing y'all this, but girl, just rub it in there. You know what to do. Just rub it all up in there. I'm going to show y'all a few more things that I picked up from the hair store. Uh, so I did go ahead and get this, like I said, because they didn't have any... Uh, my favorite spray i'm gonna have to run that down because girl why not uh i got a new bonnet because i started realizing i'm tired of seeing me in every single video with the same old bonnet on <laughs> so i got a new bonnet hey girl and i also got another um velcro edge band so we can melt our lace so those are just a few essentials wig essentials that i picked up when i went to the hair store this trip so girl get you your wig essentials okay like these are the things that the girls need um i also picked up some more spray to actually lay my lace down uh black bottle so i always get the even y'all i love even like they doing the thing um but this is the supreme hold the black can i like this one and i also like the red can which is the active hold this one here is supposed to be uh a little bit more intense than the black can because this one is supposed to be for when you're active you know you're gonna be sweating and doing all that 
red can. Uh, regular day, just need a hole. And it still lasts a couple days. He gonna go for the black can. But for me, girl, I like them both. Like, I can't really tell which one's stronger. I just know with both of them, I'm still able to wear my wigs for a couple days. So if you ask me, you can't go wrong with either one. Okay, so we got our makeup on the lace, okay? And let's go ahead and put this baby on and let's see if she is big head friendly. First of all, I need a wig cap. Hold that thought. But y'all, hold that thought because I don't think I need y'all to see what my braids looking like up under here. Girl, oh girl, the BDBs in the back is real, okay? Put that baby in that stocking cap. <laughs> but let's put her on. And it's a nice snug fit. See what I'm talking about? You could literally see straight through the lace. And I gotta say, I like that. Like, I think I'm feeling the curl pattern. Mm. Okay, Outre. So this is the Outre Perfect Hairline 13 by 6 um, Ariella in the shade 1B. Okay, this is her straight out of the package. Okay, look. I like the fact that it's giving me hairline. Like, I really can understand what the hype is about. I really could see why they named it Perfect Hairline. I like this. I think I can go in and pluck just a little bit like here and there, but for the most part, it's really not needed, but just letting you know, you can, if you want to, if you, you know, want it to be just a little bit more seamless. Um, I like the way the hair feel. Another thing that I'm liking about this uh, unit so far, um, just sitting it on my head, you know how synthetic wigs sometimes just have way too much hair on it like it, it's it's too weighed down too full too thick okay this ain't that this is giving me it's still light like it's not too weighed down it's not too much fibers in it okay i like that so let's go ahead and we're gonna really put her on spray her down lay her down and do some styling okay okay Time to cut off this lace. Y'all, this wig is laid down pretty much laid down. Put it crazy. Okay, so spray her down, slide the wig all the way back.
Okay, now that we got her spray down, we got to do a couple things because y'all see the halo. And y'all know we don't like that over here. So, a couple things. So, I'm going to take my finger and pat the top of the lace with the uh, foundation. Then, I think I'm either going to add... Oh, girl. That probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, I think I'm going to add... Yeah, y'all should have told me this wasn't a good idea. Trial and error, honey. Trial and error. It's because it's too light. Let's try the darker one. Um, I think I'm going to add some mousse and tie it down. I'm not really sure. Okay, this might be a better choice. I don't know what I was thinking. Oops. that all around the hairline and y'all this wig $53 $53 so you get a full lace front wig 13 by 6 for $53 like who doing it Outre that's who doing it something about Drea that's who doing it because I'm about to wear this $53 wig honey yes ma'am and I like the fact that it is curly so you don't have to worry about like trying to keep it straight if it tangles and all that. And I feel like curly hair looks better worn. You know what I mean? Like when it's not so perfect, the bigger the better, that type of thing. Okay, hairline gone. But we still need to do just a little bit more TLC to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to decide between mousse and more hairspray to kind of like tie it down. The reason I'm undecided is because mousse can actually lift up, lift up the unit and we don't want to do that. But the spray, seeing as I just put makeup on, it'll like make it gunky looking. So I really don't know what I should do. What if I put just a little bit of mousse on my hands first and, and like tap it around the lace? So that's what I'm going to try. Is there something in here? Oh, I meant to tell y'all another well-kept secret. This Aussie mousse, this got a hold. Like it got a good hold. It really do. So what I'm going to do is put some in my hands and I'm going to tap it around the hairline. So that way I don't overdo it. Tap it on. And then what I'm going to do is put on our elastic band. All this did was prevent me from putting, you know, like way too much product on. Because if you spray it on, literally it's going to be a big mess. We don't want that. So we're just trying to lay down the y'all know what I'm trying to say we just trying to melt the melt the lace at this point make it a little bit more seamless so we're gonna go in with our edge band all right and we're gonna let that sit while we decide how we want to style this hair all right so while we letting our edge wrap sit i kind of want to see how i want to style this hair because i don't know um i feel like first we should try let's do maybe a half up a half down situation and see what that gives just because i want to kind of see what the hairline is looking like once we take the band off so let's start with that let's see if we could pull that off separate the hair um, it is separating pretty easily, like it's not tangling. Oh, girl, look at that. I don't know if we could do half up, half down, because the tracks, baby, is out. 
Remember, I did say this wig is super lightweight, which is good, but I'm thinking that's why, because y'all saw that big space on the side, but we'll see. It might not matter. And with this hair, because it's curly, I don't want to go in and brush it. So we just going to kind of let it lay how it's going to lay. Oh, this is cute. All right, let's let this sit another uh two to three minutes. And then we're going to turn around and see how the back look. Because I can't see the back. But uh, the fact that I have saw my little stocking cap underneath, baby. We might need to take that off. Oh, I hope not. Okay, homegirl, so let's take our edge band off. I gotta say, I'm feeling real cute in this wig. Like, oh, Trey. Hmm. Let's see if the hairline is giving us perfect when we take this band off. Because I probably messed it up, knowing me. Because I'd be doing the absolute most. But we're going to see. Um, I was very, how do you say? I was very uh light-handed, lightweight with the mousse. But when I tell y'all this is a well-kept secret that I swear ain't none of the, ain't none of the girls know about. Because I ain't seen nobody using this in their videos. But y'all, this mousse. Okay, play with it. But let's take the band off. Girl, I done got it stuck. Hold on. Oops. <laughs> I done got it stuck, y'all. Okay. So I do need to go in and y'all see the little pieces or whatever. But aside from that, oh, I think that mousse did a little something. Where my tweezers at? Because we're going to get this little rolled up um, glue from off the forehead. It's pulling my hair for real. Okay, maybe I should use alcohol. Let me get that off. Okay. Use alcohol, not the tweezers. Okay. Okay, girls, so this is what we're looking like. Let me see, is the wig even down in the back? Okay, yeah. So this is what we're looking like. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, I'm loving this. Half up, half down. It's giving. It's just giving. <laughs> like, for $53 a full lace unit with a hairline that looked like this crazy i need to cut this little piece off right here y'all see that that's the wig sticking up right here can y'all see see this side and see this side let me cut that off real quick hold up they don't love you like i love you Let me not cut my ear. Can we not cut my ear, please? Okay, that's better. Oh. Okay. So, this is style number one. I think I should do a separate styling video, but this unit... I'm loving it. Like, how could you not? It's super freaking cute. I am going to go ahead and spin around because I need to see what the back looking like. And y'all need to see too because I don't know. Because, yeah, let's just turn around and see what it's giving. 
what's it doing what's it doing how are we looking girl super stinking cute so let's just go ahead and do the whole rundown my thoughts my opinions and rate the wig that's i'm pretty sure that's the most exciting part of the video so i'm not gonna hold you sis let's go ahead and get into it okay so specs of the wig so again this is the outre perfect hairline 13 by 6 lace front unit um in the state ariel or ariella I don't know how you say that. I got it in the shade 1B. Um, it is supposed to be, I want to say 20 some inches, do it say? I would say it's a good 22 to 24 inches, okay? Um, as far as the density, I'm going to say this is a natural density. I'm going to get it to 150. Um, I like how lightweight it feels. The hairline, again, need I say more? Um tangling shedding those kind of things i am getting experiencing some shedding of course you girls know that i did not comb through this hair it is a curly unit um i am getting some shedding um so far i can't really tell if it's excessive but the shedding is shedding shedding um tangles i mean you see but so far nothing crazy uh tangles versus knotting i don't have any knots which is good the lace laid down pretty easily without causing like the hair texture to change along the hairline with the products that i use so what else um yeah so my overall rating for this wig girl i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because i've been sleep on a synthetic unit I'm going to tell you, homegirls, go out and get this. Again, it's only $53. It is a full frontal wig. You got sufficient amount of parting space here in the center. You could do a center part, left part, right part, curved part, deep part, bust down, okay? However your little heart desires. So I'm going to give this unit a 10 out of 10. Um, I think this video deserves an encore. So we're going to do a part two styling the wig this is the style that i chose to do today which is a half up half down super cute i did go ahead and do a little spin around for you girls okay you see the back i think it's 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 definitely giving 10 out of 10 run go get this like you need it asap it's giving me human hair it's really i think it's, it's giving the trickery like this right here gonna have a girl's looking you're gonna be confused like you really think it's human hair a human hair unit so, I think that's all I needed to say about it. Like, there ain't nothing more that I could say to convince you that you need this unit. Just know you need it in your life, okay? But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling real cute, real fly. I love it. I love it. Oh, hey. Okay, homegirls, so that is it. That is all that I have for this video. Hope you girls enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at something about Drea. You girls know that I do have new videos for my homegirls each and every Wednesday and Saturday, but hit that good old notification bell anyway, so that way you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. That is all for now, and I'll see you girls next time on something about Drea. Bye.